Welcome back to a little dealio we like to call Liberty Rants. And what the hell are you? You've been reading comments again, haven't you? What do you want me to do? This is get, what they want. Get that shit off. This is ridiculous. I gotta be safe. Yeah, well, we're gonna talk about that. What do you mean? I can't get, hear strip you. Strip all that shit off. Hold on. Oh. Oh, and hipster gloves. Awesome. Sleeves. Safety glasses. Oh, earplugs. Secondary mask. Is that a level three hazmat? Oh, yes, Three's it is. Apparatus? Well, we got to be safe. We got to take care of ourselves. We got to be here for the next video. All right. But if you can't tell, this video we are bitching about safety Nazis, Captain Obviouses, and dillweeds. Absolutely. Seriously, when you've been doing what we've been doing for as long as we've been doing it, you're driving me fucking crazy. Yes. Because, you know what, I know when to wear the appropriate face mask, face shield, the right breathing apparatus, the proper hearing protection. Whether I'm welding, machining, shooting, cleaning, whatever. Mask I don't need somebody to come back up on my ass and say, Oh, by the way, I see you didn't wear your safety glasses, or you didn't have your rubber gloves on. Oh, acetone will kill you. Really? Better wear a rubber for dirty fuck. wood. You gotta see what trichlor will do to your ass. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, seriously. Yeah, obviously there's time to wear safety glasses. Obviously there's time to wear gloves and breathing apparatuses. But you know what? We're two grown-ass men, and we know when and when not to. What we do for a living, we're already going to die early. Yeah, but right. life expectancy is not really one of those long-term things that we're looking at. Yeah. So, however, uh, our quality of life while we're here would be so much better without the Nazis. Without the Nazis. So, um, why don't we give them a little background so they have an idea of why we know what and when to use. And just because we do, just because we're dumbasses doesn't mean you need to be a dumbass. So, you can go ahead and put on all the safety gear, use whatever you want to do stuff. That's totally cool, yep. but uh, you don't need to tell us what to do. So why don't you give us a little background, starting outside of high school. Outside of high school? Yeah, let's see. I had a D3 scholarship to play basketball, and football was an athletic scholarship. Blow my knee out, lost my scholarship. Uh, the whole time I had to pay my way after that to go to school, so one of the options I had was working with my dad. And it's something that I had done since I was 11 years old, going to work with my dad on the weekends and doing that. Um, what he did was electric motor repair and system design work. So right from an early age on, I was in an industrial atmosphere my entire life, from 11 years old on. So whether it be running a mill, a lathe, a winding machine, an oven, the sandblaster, working on everything from electric to hydraulic to pneumatic, you name it, we've done it. It's not one of those things that... Yeah, when you're in the field working on... comes natural, but when you're when you're working with high voltage in, in the field or you're building a system designed to keep people safe, safety is always a part of mm -hmm. your everyday life. What? Every time you throw the switch on stuff, it could be... Yeah, when you know what the risk all. is, you know how to handle it. Exactly. If you just go in overconfident, though, that can backfire on you as well. Yeah, well, I always know your boundaries. Yeah, there, there's there's two types of people out there. People that think they know it all and don't. Mm -hmm. Or there's people that actually know it all and just don't do it. Engineers. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, uh, you know what? When uh, we started taking on... Uh, the gun stuff, we take the same exact rules and regulations that we use in our everyday life in the shop to apply it to the same way. When we're doing a build or we're doing a video, you can be goddamn sure that there's no live ammo sitting on this desktop. There ain't no live ammo here. Yep, it's done. Gun's, Gun's not going to be loaded. Don't tell me, oh, you lazed them, bro. You know what? I, I want to hear it because you know what? We know it's a safe zone right here. When we're loading this our is ammunition. A safe place? What's well, a safe place? Oh. But it's not gun free. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Yeah, that ain't happening. About me and college educated blue collar fucking worker. Tell me a little bit about you. Well, like country and gothic chicks, reverse cowgirl. Uh, uh, uh. 
Seriously? Oh, no, about, oh, about my work background. Let's see. I Before I started doing the whole electric repair stuff with him, I um, did everything was automotive. I had worked in a shop. My grandpa did heavy equipment repair and, and sales, so I was there as a little kid. Um, started spinning a wrench as a job at 15. Uh, ASC Master Certified Mechanic. Did that for 12 years. I've done just about anything you can do in automotive. From working on drag cars, to fabricating in a hot rod shop and running a dyno, to being a car builder and crew chief in a road race car and winning divisional championships. I've done just about everything. I've owned a shop. I've car worked guy. in a Ford dealer for a bunch of years. So, yeah, I've been around a lot of dangerous things too myself, from welders and lays and mills and that. We know the risks, people. Yeah. So, that's it. Don't ride our back. If we do something you don't like, that's fine. But you know what? It's about the information. It's not the system of how we do it safely. Nice. I've got all my fingers. You've got all your fingers. We've got both of our eyes. Seriously. For now, never got sucked into a lathe or <laughs> crushed on a punch press or... <laughs> yeah. No, the, you know what? It, it's, it's one of those things. We're showing you... Our, our DIYs are to give you the information as we see it and how we, you know, we're trying to show you how we did it, how we went about it. Hey, if you don't like what I did, if I didn't have my safety glasses on at the particular time on a mill, well, fucking sorry. You know what? There's going to be times when if you spent your lifetime around it, you'll understand when and where and how and why that shit happens. You know what? We know, we, we know a bunch of you deal with the same crap with your job every day. And it sucks when you have somebody trying to tell you what to do. Yeah, exactly. So, well, that's all. That's our rant for this this episode of Liberty Rants. A randomly aired something or other. <laughs> so as long as you don't have a rant, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> hey, just for fun, why don't you put in the comments what pisses you off so we can all rant together. Yeah, there you go. I like that. So check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And don't take liberty for granted. Bitches. See you around, guys.